Hey there, welcome to part two of how to make your podcast intro using Audacity and some simple edits. Now in part one, I showed you how to import your theme music, cut it down to the link that you need, and then fade it out. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to record your voiceover and use the selection and time shift tools to make your edits and then mix your voiceover with your theme music and export it as a WAV file so you can use it when you set up your podcast template. So let's get started. As you can see, we have our podcast theme music set here and we've created a nice fade out for it. So let's get started on recording the voiceover. So we're gonna go back we're going to hit this button to take us back to the beginning and a couple things that you want to be aware of here we want to mute the existing music track because we don't want that playing in the background as we record our voiceover the other thing that you want to be aware of is this bar this level right up here ideally your volume coming in is going to hit at about this minus 12 mark if you start getting above that, especially up to the minus three and the zero, this green line is gonna turn red, which indicates that you are clipping. And that is bad because your audio is gonna sound distorted and fuzzy. And that's not good for you or your listener. So let's get this voiceover recorded. There are a couple ways that you can start the recording. You can either press the big red button here or as a shortcut on your keyboard, just press R. So let's, let's roll tape. Hey, thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. I'm your host, Jen Eads, HBIC at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. And you're in the place where we talk about X, Y, and Z. And, and you'll hear us talk about X, Y, and Z. Thanks for listening. And then to stop recording, you can press the stop button or the space bar. Now, as you heard, that was not a great voiceover. I need to make some edits in that. So let's go back to the beginning of the track and play it back. Hey, thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. I'm your host, Jen Eads, HBIC at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. And you're in the place where we talk about X, Y, and Z. And, and you'll hear us talk about X, Y, and Z. Thanks for listening. Okay, so let's go and clean this up a little bit. So we're gonna hit this icon up here to take us back to the beginning. Now, we don't need this. So we're just gonna, again, use our selection tool. Highlight that and press delete. And you, what you'll see happen when I press delete is the rest of this track is going to automatically shift to the beginning. See how that works? Okay. Hey, thanks for pressing play on this episode. And I believe down here is where I started to get in trouble with the voiceover. And you're in the place where we talk about X, Y, and Z. And, and you'll hear us talk about Okay, so let's let's cut this up and clean it up a little bit. You're in the place where we talk about... Okay, so we want to cut from here all the way over to here out, and that's where we use our selection tool. And in case you missed it in the first video, it's this icon right here. So we are just going to click and drag all the way over here. Now, there are a couple things that I want you to be aware of when you make the cuts. So we're gonna go up to edit. And again, you can do cut or delete and use the keyboard shortcuts. But watch what happens when we do delete. Watch what happens to, the, to this section over here. Okay, it automatically moves over. And sometimes we want that and sometimes we don't. So let's go to Command Z and undo that. And I'm going to remake this edit now. And instead of doing the Command K or the Command X, I'm gonna go up to Edit and go to Remove Special. And that now I'm gonna do a split cut. 
And as you can see, it left this piece here and just removed what we wanted gone. Okay, now we are going to make sure that we have this set on the time shift tool. And then we're going to highlight this clip and just drag it over to the left. And we're going to go back to our selection tool, slide that back a little bit and play this. HBIC at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. And, and you'll hear us talk about X, Y, and Z. Thanks for listening. Okay, so I want to get rid of this and. So again, we've got the selection tool. We are just going to highlight that. And this time I'm just going to hit Command X because I want this to go ahead and move itself up to that beginning clip. All right, let's give it a listen. See Broadcasting Company. And you'll hear us talk about X, Y, and Z. Thanks for listening. All right, and you can hear where I hit the space bar. So let's just cut that little bit out. Do a Command X. There we go. Now what I want to do is play all of this back. Let's hear this voiceover and just make sure it flows all right. Hey, thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. I'm your host, Jen Eads, HBIC at the Brassy Broadcasting Company, and you'll hear us talk about X, Y, and Z. Thanks for listening. Okay, now I'm getting picky, but I want to clean this up just a little bit more because you can kind of hear me take a breath at the beginning and then this just feels like it ends a little abruptly. Dang. I can hear a little pop in that, which I don't know if you can hear this in this tutorial, but there is a pop because I can hear it through the headphones. So what I'm going to do is just highlight that little bit. Then I'm going to go up to effect and I'm going to do another fade out. And that should take care of that pop. And Z, thanks for listening. Yeah, it's gone now. So I'm going to go over here to the beginning and I'm going to do a fade in so we lose that breath. All right, let's give that a listen. Hey, thanks for pressing play. Okay, and it's gone. So now what we want to do is mix the voiceover with the intro music. So I'm going to go to my zoom in, zoom out, and I'm going to zoom out on this. And then I've still got my selection tool highlighted, so I'm going to grab all of that and then switch to my time shift tool so I can take it and start to move it towards the end where I've got the music fading out and that's where we want the voiceover coming in. So I'm going to unmute this music track and I can tell I already need to take that volume down a little bit so this is where you adjust your volume. So I'm going to drag that to the left and pull it down about 10 dB and see where that gets us. Hey, thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. I'm your host, Jen Eads, HB. That is not too bad. I'm going to pull that music down just a little bit more. Go to 14 and see how that sounds. Hey, thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. I'm your host, Jen Eads, HBIC at the Brassy Broadcasting Company, and you'll hear us talk about X, Y, and Z. Thanks for listening. Okay, now that we've got a good sounding mix on the voiceover with the music, we want to export this as a WAV file. And to do that, we're going to go up to File and export audio and we want to call this podcast intro and we're going to sh we're I don't want to save this as an mp3 I actually want to save this as a WAV file so that it will be uncompressed because when you save it as an mp3 it compresses the audio so you lose some sound quality and when you export your podcast you're already going to 
export that as an MP3. So it's going to get even more compressed. So when possible, start with the uncompressed WAV file and just hit save. And it shows us that our tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels and we hit OK. And this has some tagged information already that carried over from the music file. So I'm just going to clear all of that. Put my name here and we're going to call this podcast intro. And set OK. Then you've exported your WAV file and now it's ready for you to pull back into your podcasting template. For more podcasting tutorials and my free podcasting course, visit BrassyBroad.com. See ya.